Okay, so we have interest basics. Basics interest, of course, as I told earlier, this is basically to tell why interest, how interest, what do you mean by interest? Okay, so we need to understand why is it necessary for anybody to pay interest or to gain interest if he lends out money. So, for example, we have time, we'll, we'll take up certain topics together. So, we'll take up time value of money and also inflation together. It's a very important concept. See, for example, what is 1000 rupees today is not going to remain 1000 rupees four years from now. We all know whether it's consumer goods or whatever, for it, because with the kind of inflation that is happening, prices are not going to remain static. Of course, the amount of uh, inflation may vary from goods to goods, consumer goods or consumer durable, but essential goods, vegetables, for example, they always have always face a lot of inflation. Condiments, they face a lot of inflation. So, for example, if a man is earning his, he is able to manage with 5,000 rupees worth, he can buy his entire um, uh, family's grocery. This year, the 5,000 would not suffice for him to buy five years from now. Hence, the value of money is reduced due to inflation and also overall inflation. Certain goods would become more costly. Some of them could become cheaper. But overall, there is bound to be an inflation in the value of goods that he can buy. So, hence, the value of his money has reduced to some extent. Hence, if he lends that 5,000 rupees to, say, X, lends it to Y, when Y lends, returns it to him after five years, the benefit which he, had, he would have got five years ago is not going to be the same that he gets. Hence, he has to pay interest for, as a compensation for the fall in the value of money over the period of five years. Right. So the interest obviously depends upon the period, hence which is calculated accordingly. Then there is something called opportunity cost. Now what is this opportunity cost? Suppose you have 1000 rupees over here. Hmm. Now you want to, suppose somebody asks you, somebody asks you for a loan, you are given X the loan. So this much amount of money is blocked with X. Now you also had a choice, you could have used 1000 rupees and maybe invested in something which would have given you some returns at the end of the year but now that you have lent it to x you have lost the opportunity to increase the liquidity of that money and get you some profit out of it and hence you are losing out on something so interest is meant to compensate for it so opportunity cost is taken care liquidity preference when you have free money with you, which is not on loan to somebody, which is not blocked this loan. Liquidity, any person prefers liquid because he has to purchase things. So if he doesn't have enough money with him, he will not be able to purchase something. So if somebody has given 10,000 rupees to somebody, often it happens in a household. So some friend of yours might come and ask you for some money. You say, no, I don't have because my expenses are very high. I have to pay my child's fees. So his fees are 10,000. So that is liquid cash is needed. But on the contrary, if you lend it out to somebody, it's going to remain blocked and you may have to borrow from somebody else, which is going to create a little bit of problem. Hence, you need that kind of interest. So if you're lending out to somebody, that person should pay you an interest to cover up the interest which you may have to pay because you're going to borrow from someone else for all that matters. And there is a risk factor also. You have to cover up because a person across Suppose he is not able to pay the money on time, then there is a risk factor. So for that, there has to be a demotivator for the other person not to bungle. At the same time, you are also facing a risk factor because there could be a contingency tomorrow and you may need the money very urgently five months from now when you are actually given it out to somebody else as a loan. And you are not going to get it after five months. So that person across has to pay that amount to cover up your risk. Hence, in short, interest is paid as a compensation for the loss for the person who is lending you money, whether it's a bank is lending you or you are lending to somebody else. So this is why we need to pay interest. Okay. This, I suppose, is the basic reason why we need to give interest. Now, in this, 